8.1 polar coordinates. So uh, just a, a different way of graphing. Uh, we're going to be talking about points. Uh, we'll get into vectors eventually. Um, all of the basics of this stuff is very simple. Uh, we're going to try to keep it as simple as possible. There is some calculation. I, I think this chapter is along the same level of difficulty as the last chapter, but some of it will be easier. Um, and then we get to chapter 9, and I think it, we do some stuff that I think you, you'll find easier than the last chapter. So we're changing it up a little bit. Uh, we still deal with um, uh, trigonometry, but not in the uh, same effect as what we've been doing. Uh, so if I were to give you um, a point, uh, something that you're used to here. Tell me everything you know about that point that you've learned this year. As much as you can. You don't have to. X value is one. What? The X value is one. Yeah, X value is one. Y is zero. Y is zero. What about your unit circle? It's two pi or zero. What? It's two pi or zero. It's zero or two pi. Degree is zero. Good. Um, what's the radius? One. Good. <clears throat> so something like this, the radius is one, uh, theta is zero in this uh, uh, case, um, or two pi. So if I wanted to label this in a different way, um, and as far as putting radius as my x value and theta as my degree, or in terms of pi as my in my y position, this would be what we call polar coordinates. I can still get to the exact same position on an xy plane using polar coordinates. And today we're going to talk about how to go back and forth between the two. Okay? Um, let's just do one here. <clears throat> let's do example five. Okay, so let's make sure we understand this is your radius. This is your degree in terms of pi. So that's how we're gonna we're gonna label those, okay? Whatever your radius is, and then your degree term. We'll talk about negative radius here. In, uh, in there. Okay, so if I said this, if I said I want to plot this point six negative seven pi over six. What's 6 represent? Radius. Radius, okay. How do I find where negative 7 pi over 6 is? How do you figure it out? First of all, what's the negative mean? A negative degree. How do we get to a negative degree? Uh, go backwards. Go backwards, which is clockwise. Okay. All right. So we're going to start here. We're going to go this direction. Okay. How far do I need to go? How do I figure out how many degrees that is? One eighty over unit circle. Well, it's not the unit circle anymore because the radius is six. We are going to be basing some things off the unit circle, but how do I find negative 7 pi over 6? We've done this over and over and over again. The degrees, how do I find the degrees? Multiply it by pi over 180. Or just take uh, 7 times 180, right? Uh, 180 over pi is really what you're thinking. So what happens when you take that times 180 over pi? Pi's cancel out, and you're taking 7 times 180, okay? Which is what pi is. So 7 times 180 divided by 6, what do you get when you do that? I'll wait. You guys are going to answer my questions today. Negative 210 degrees. Well, there's 180. How much more do I need to go? 30 more degrees. So here I am. 
this is going to be 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it is negative 210 degrees. So that's how I would graph that. Pretty simple. Need another one? Okay. Uh, how about number 8? Here we're going to give you a negative degree, a negative radius. I'll tell you about the negative here in a minute. Let's find the positive first. Negative 17 pi over 6. They're not always negative degrees, okay? So um, I just picked some obscure ones to start with. So how do I find positive 5? And then tell everybody tell me what that degree is. You're going to be doing this. I'm going to turn you loose here in a little bit. You're going to have to do this on your own, so you should participate. 17 times 180 divided by 6. Or what is pi over 6, first of all? 30. What's 17 times 30? 510 degrees. So negative 510 degrees. So we're going to go all the way around. That's 360. And 90 more is 360 and 90 is how much? Um, 450. 450. And 90 more is? Is that too much? Yeah. Okay, how much more do we need to go from 450 to 510? 60 degrees. 60 more degrees. So, right there. And this would be at 5. Oops. Now, this is if the radius is positive. When you have a negative radius, it means the opposite direction. So we are actually right here. This is where we want to be. So negative is going to take you the opposite direction of what you would draw. That's the difference. Radius really can't be negative, so we're talking about an opposite direction. Right, how do you find the degree? Multiply it by 180 over pi. The pi's cancel. Multiply your numbers by 180 and divide by whatever the denominator is. Okay, we've done this multiple times. Radius, if it's negative, graph it as if it's positive and then go the opposite direction. Okay? Alright, so that's how you graph uh, polar coordinates. Um, converting. Let's convert uh, rectangular to polar first. So we're converting the rectangular point. Rectangular coordinate is your xy coordinate that you're used to. So rectangular coordinate into polar coordinates. All right, so here is the formula. r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And the tangent of theta equals y over x. You know this. You know this as a circle. We'll talk about that here in a minute. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do something simple. This is number 24. Here's the graph, one, two, at zero, negative three. Not on the unit circle, but we're gonna need to understand unit circle for degrees and stuff. Just before I even start, what degree is this? Where are we at in terms of pi? Huh? 270 in terms of pi is? Three pi over two, all right, so. Keep that in mind. This is how kind of how easy some of this is going to be. You should know some of these answers before you kind of get going. But I want to show you how to do this because eventually you get to the point where you're not given something so uh, nice and neat. Like it's not necessarily uh, at a 30 or 60 or 90 degree point. It's in between and you use arc cosine, arc, arc tangent, stuff like that to figure it out. 
But a lot of your problems today are going to be easy enough where you can tell me what, what degree it is before we start. Now, what do we need for polar? We need the radius and we need the degree in terms of pi to write this out. Well, first of all, what is the radius? Three. Okay. Now, here's how we can actually figure this out. Uh, the formula is r squared equals x squared plus y squared. You just put your x and your y of your coordinate into the formula to figure out what r is. Because it's not always going to be on an x or a y uh, axis. So you need to put these two into these positions. So r squared equals 0 squared plus negative 3 squared. So r squared equals 0 plus 9 is 9. Take the square root, and r equals 3, which is what you said. So we have the r part of it, the radius. You already know what the degree is. It was an easy one. But let's actually use what we have up here. The tangent of theta equals y over x. You take your y value of your coordinate, <laughs> negative 3, over 0. Can you do that? What is that? Undefined. Well, way back a few chapters ago, you knew where the tangent was undefined. It was undefined on the y-axis. So you would know that that's either pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2. Well, you just look at what you've been given, and you know that it's 3 pi over 2. So where is my polar coordinate? At 3, 3 pi over 2. That would be your answer. All right, so let's make sure we understand. To get the radius, plug the x and the y into your circle formula, basically. To get the degree, you're going to have to plug your x and the y into the tangent of theta formula. It's just your what thing it is. And you're going to have to think about it. And how you think about it is with your unit circle, where it ends up, OK? Um, Let's do something, or let's go from polar to rectangular. What, what do you know about uh, x and y in terms of your trigonometry? What have you learned about that? Just the basic stuff. Sine is y and cosine is x because the radius is 1. How do you get the 3 over 2 over 3? Two hundred seven degrees. All right. Yeah. On your unit circle. It doesn't have to be in a circle for degrees, but that's what we've learned. Okay. So let me draw let me draw a triangle here. You're not gonna have to do this. I'm just trying to help you understand where this came from. If this is theta, and this is your x, and this is your y, this is your r, okay? This is our x, y here. This should come out here. Our rectangular coordinate here. What was the cosine of theta? What's the cosine mean? Sucatone. Cosine. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be x over r. So if I'm going from polar to rectangular, I'm going to be given an r in a degree. So I want to get to an x and a y. So I'm going to say r x, since I want x, is going to be equal to what? How do I solve for x here? How do I get rid of the r? Multiply by r. So this is the first part of converting it. You are going to know your radius, and you're going to know your theta in terms of pi. To get x, all you have to do is put the radius and multiply it by whatever the cosine of that pi value is. And that'll tell you what x is. Now, what do you think y is going to be? Oh, sorry. 
Or sine of theta, thank you. How'd you get that? Because the sine of theta equals y over r, doesn't it? How do I get y? Multiply both sides by r. <coughs> y equals r times the sine of theta. This is how you're going to get your x and your y. You're going to be given an r, a radius, in theta terms of pi, and you plug them into these positions. All right, so let's look at let's look at a graph and see if you can figure this out. Number 26. which is how many degrees? Pi over 6 is 30. 30 times 5 is 150 degrees. So this is a 30 degree reference angle here. Um, what is my radius? Hash marks count. What is it? How many hash marks are there? Two. And my radius is two. Now, how do I get x? By taking the radius times the cosine of five pi over six. What is the x value on your unit circle at 150 degrees? Not gonna get away from the unit circle very easily. 150 degrees has a 30 degree reference angle. The x value is the long leg here. What's the x value? Rack of 3 over, uh, over 2, right? Okay, so and is it positive or negative? Negative. So now I'm going to take 2 times negative radical 3 <coughs> over 2. What's my answer? <coughs> negative radical 3. That's x. Now the y value is r, oops, r is 2 times the sine of 5 pi over 6. What is the y value at this point <clears throat> at 150 degrees, your unit circle? Obviously this is not on the unit circle, but that's what you're using to get this. What's the y value at 150 degrees? <coughs> it is the short leg, one half. One half. So I'm taking two times one half and I get one. So I want you to just think about this physically. We are not in the unit circle here. Where are we at? This x value here can't be two because when it goes all the way down the two is going to be out here, right? So this value here is radical three, the distance of radical three which is like 1.7. That looks about right. And this value here is one based on what we just found. So what's our coordinate in rectangular form? Negative radical 3, 1. And that would be our answer. <clears throat> you don't have to explain this. I was just telling you where it came from. What do you have to do? You take whatever the radius is. You're going to put it times your cosine and your sine. And you figure out whatever your degree is. And you figure out those unit circle values. And this formula gets you outside of your unit circle to where this point is. Okay? Uh, what else can I show you? Alright, let's see if you've learned something here. Your notes out there. I'm going to give you one that's actually kind of simple, that on the surface it kind of looks complicated. You just got to think about it. If you're good at your unit circle, then this shouldn't be a problem. If you're struggling with your unit, your, your unit circle still, you're going to have to keep working on it. This is number 35. Convert to polar. All right, so you're going to be given the rectangular form you got to convert it to polar. Negative 1, 1. First thing you should do is graph it, just to look at it. Helps you with positives and negatives. 
then use your formulas to come up with what you need. Give everybody a few minutes. Use this setup right here. Work it out. Get as far as you can. Pictures should give you a clue of what the degree is. Radius is radical 2. It's bigger than what this point is, which is about right. And then you should notice that this is a 45 degree reference angle, up 1 over 1. The tangent of theta is uh, 1 over negative 1. Tangent of theta is negative 1. But this is what I want to show you. Something over itself, 1 over 1. Radical 2 over radical 2. Radical 2 over 2 over radical 2 over 2. What was that? What position was that? When you have something over itself, it's a 45 degree angle. Something over itself in tangent means that you are at 45 degrees. Um, reference angles. So, which reference angle is that? Or not reference angle, which angle is that? Yes, what is it? 3 pi over 4. Remember, this is pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. The pi over 4s are, are simple to find. All right, so this is just 3 pi over 4. What's our polar coordinate? Radical 2, 3 pi over 4. All right. A lot of you would, uh, had almost gotten there by the time I came up here. Unit circle is still very important. Okay. We're not using those formulas all in chapter 7. We didn't, we didn't get there. Uh, we're not using those. There's not a lot of formulas in this chapter. There are some. Okay, but uh, to get started, this is really what we're doing. Here's your assignment. <clears throat> and you start on it, and I can help you with it. Uh, page 546. I want you to do all of the, no, I'm sorry, 3 through 13 odds. Then I want you to do. 16 to 22 evens, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 46, Fifteen fifty-four. Okay. <clears throat> 